Hi everybody, welcome back to the Room of Crap. Today I thought I'd give you another lame tip, and this one has to do with ribbon. I love ribbon, I love to buy it, collect it. I just like to have it around, really. And I have several ways that I organize it here in the Room of Crap, and the first one is right behind me, and it comes from my great friend Greta. Her husband made it last year, around Christmas time, and I love it because not only can you see the ribbon, but it keeps the spools all together. And if you look closely, I sorted all mine by color, of course, because it looks prettier that way. And here's the spools that still need to go onto the big spool thing, which is great because it's all out in the open. You know what you have. You don't buy duplicates generally. And uh, it keeps it right there so that people can see and it looks pretty. But I have other ribbon too, so let me show you that. All right, my second tip for ribbon has to do with when you don't have a whole spool of ribbon, you know, you go to the place that you buy a yard at the time, or you keep little uh, strands of it, what would you do with that? You can't really keep it on a spool holder like the one I had just shown you. So there's another way to organize that, and it's right here on the wall. And all these ribbons did come by the yard. And what I did was, here they are. Um, all I did was sort them out by color, because again, I like them by color. And then I just, let me take this off here, added a little jump ring, which someone had asked me where you get these and you just buy them at the office store. And then onto the jump rings are little safety pins. I mean, how cheap can you get there? And on the safety pin are all the different ribbons all together. So you see all the pinks are together on this. And then I just hook those onto the little jump ring. Now to make it even more helpful, if you're a person that likes things sorted by um, company, manufacturer, then all you do is, or what I did was, just put little tags on the top, like this is KI, and this used to have a lot more KI ribbon on it, um, and then put those together so that you know that those are all the same, like this one says KI, and all these lovely ribbons are here, are all KI ribbons, and then keep them all together. Then you just close up the jump ring, that way you can add and subtract it as needed. It doesn't need any ironing because it's hanging all the time, which is super cool. Because if you wrap them around little things, they tend to get all, you know, wrinkly and mushy. So this way they're all hanging like this, and then I just hang them right here on this little handy dandy hook. And then when I need them, I just yank them down. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Now I know what to do with spools. I know what to do when I borrow it by the yard. But what do you do when you have those little pieces? You know, scraps, because you know I keep them. Well, over here on the desk, this is really junky, is my <laughs> jar of ribbons. See that? And it's just a jar, probably Prego, uh, cleaned out, and all my little bits go back into this jar, and they sit on my desk, and then as I need them, I just yank them out. Now, unlike the hanging solution, these do get wrinkly, um, but I don't throw away any bits, so that's a plus. And I'm more likely to use them because they sit right next to me all the time and I'm reminded, use me, use me. So this is a great tip. You can easily find a jar of something, pickles. And you can even decorate the outside of the jar. Mine at one time it said fibers, which I think that's what was in it when I originally started. Um, but now it's all ribbons, so it's a great tip and it's free. All right, so that's it for today. Just a few handy dandy ribbon tips. Until next time, see ya.